Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 43300 rim cylinder night latch. Uh, it's a night latch that includes a rim cylinder. Um, nice quality lock, you know, there's no doubt about that. It's a very inexpensive lock, but, um, you know, I wouldn't hesitate to use this uh, at all. It's full featured in the sense that um, it's a surface mount deadbolt. Okay, so the people that are buying this, well, could be homeowners who want to add additional security to a door. Uh, people that buy them in quantity are typically landlords or locksmiths, people that are engaged in the um, service end of the industry with providing material and installation. So that's who's going to buy this. Full featured in the sense that it's got a slam latch on it, or a night latch is what they're called, but it also has a holdback feature, which is very convenient. Otherwise, it will, being a night latch, always relock every single time. Uh, you're going to get a cylinder for the exterior, a typical rim cylinder, and a Yale Y1 keyway, which is a very uh, common keyway. Okay, Smooth operation. I'd have no problem with this cylinder at all, even though the zinc die cast cylinders are, and I don't prefer them as something solid brass, but it, it's smooth and works well. You'll obviously get a strike, <clears throat> and that is an, what they would kind of call an angle strike, I suppose, because you're going to need to mortise it to the uh, frame and then it projects back across the face of the door so the the lock approaches the strike this way okay that's what you're dealing with there backside allows the tailpiece uh, from the cylinder to be inserted turning the key is going to get that to retract uh, the ancillary parts are going to be your cylinder collar the plate that you'll need to hold the cylinder on from the uh, inside of the door underneath the lock housing will go something like this, obviously. Okay, and then a package of screws. Now, there's a link below this video to what we're calling the instructions. It's a template, um, and it's important in the sense that you know. Here, here's the important thing: the back side of this is two and three eighths of an inch. So from the edge of the door to the center of where the tailpiece resides is two and three eighths, okay? Um, this template, the actual paper template that you get is full size. So you could carefully cut it along what the edge of the door is gonna be and then tape it. And then your three screw holes, got three holes for screws there. Can't see them all, but Mark those with a center punch, and then you're in real good shape. Um, so once you get that marked, you're going to need to drill it's not given uh, what size you're supposed to drill uh, for this. Typically an inch and a quarter hole uh, for, a, uh, for a rim cylinder is going to be typical. Let me verify that. Yeah, yeah, inch and a quarter hole for the rim cylinder for all this to go through. Um, forgive me, you'll be looking like this. You're going to need to make sure that you're getting the instructions kind of assume that you're utilizing an existing hole. Uh, the problem is going to be that you've got to have the tailpiece communicate directly to the back of the uh, of the lock, obviously. So you're going to be at two and three eighths back set. Okay, um, the tailpiece is not in the exact center of where the rim cylinder falls. Definitely isn't. Um, you're going to need to make sure that you've got your installation such that the rim cylinder tailpiece, uh, you know, it's not exactly in the center of that hole. So you're going to have to offset it to make sure that it is. Um, You know, probably a really good idea, in my opinion, the way I would go about it, it was I would mark my two and three eighths back set. Uh, I would drill the inch and a quarter hole through the door. I would get that installed with the plate that comes. So that's going to look just like this. Get that all installed on the door. Then you'll be able to communicate these, the tailpiece to the lock. 
and then from there I would use a very small nail set or a four penny nail or a, a, a trim nail and I would mark my holes you know that two and three eighths back set will get you there your vertical height you can adjust that because these two the se the vertical center line of this hole and the vertical center line of this are not going to be the same they're just not okay so that's how I would go about doing it because the instructions don't include that information and regarding the strike I would simply you know lay that out by hand mortise my frame and then you're then you're in real good shape let's put the tape measure on this lock just to get an idea of the size <clears throat> But this is a very generic design, so if you're replacing one, this is probably going to fit right in. Uh, overall length of the body, the body itself, three and five eighths. Projection of the latch, seven sixteenths. Overall height of the body, about two and two and three eighths, I would say. Okay, that holdback feature is nice because you're going to be coming in and out with groceries, that kind of situation. Uh, people use these basement doors uh, from their basement to the backyard kind of thing. Perfect application for this. It can't be tampered with. Um, and then if you're coming in and out in the winter, you could hold it back open so you don't get locked out. Good quality lock. Any questions on the Ultra Hardware number 4, 3300, night latch, deadbolt, surface mount deadbolt, night latch function with a rim cylinder or any other Ultra Hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.